Hello everyone and welcome back to a new game mode in One Piece Treasure Cruise, I guess. Um, it's basically Colosseums, just renamed without the one or two, or I guess two to three opening rounds they used to have. And yeah, it's called Arena. This first one is quite tedious though, I have to say. Um, this first one really wants you to use Big Mom versus Big Mom's versus ability. The problem is there aren't many ways to guarantee recovery and tandem orbs, so you have to rely on luck. And there were a number of times where I could not get 10 recovery or tandem orbs consistently and I'd just get into stage 4 um, without the versus ability charged. So you kind of have to stall a bit. If you want to be extra safe, you want to get it ready by stage 2. On stage 2. Because on stage 3, you have the chance of encountering Rebecca. And if you can't encounter Rebecca, you can't really stall on that stage. She just fully charges your specials and gives you matching orbs. Then you pass on to the next stage, which you're which, if she was on stage 3, the next stage would be stage 4, and if you don't have your versus ability charged by then, you can't really beat this content. This first team is probably the most accessible team. The only legends are the super type Snake Man and V1 Jinbei. V1 Jinbei is very, very crucial for this. Uh, arena because he is an int character as well as removing the two annoying defensive buffs you see on this stage right now percent damage reduction and increased defense he removes both of those the only other int unit that does that is I believe Ein who only works if you have already have an orb blocker because you have to stall one turn with her. Um, Jinbei doesn't need to stall one turn, he removes both by five turns. Kid is here to reduce cooldowns, Akane is here to reduce the bind. We don't really need a special bind remover. But there's a super type snake hands, super type ability, and seems actually lacks a bit of damage so you want to put some stat boosting supports I was able to kill uh, Kamazo with just normal attacks since he doesn't actually insta kill you which is interesting it's mainly due to his annoying revive because he's already he revives with very low HP but he puts up a damage nullify and hunger and a bunch of increased damage stuff. So ideally with double versus Big Mom, you would use another versus Big Mom ability here to I believe she bypasses damage nullification with her versus ability. But if you don't have her you can't do that. You have to rely on a Fem Captain and use her versus ability on the fourth stage since you need Semla orbs, otherwise you won't have matching orbs for the final stage since Kamazo sw swaps them to empty and orb locks them. Second team will be Roger team. Um, Odin is quite necessary because Wano orbs, uh, Kamazo will be able to swap those. This is the only team without Jinbei. There are definitely teams that don't need Jinbei other or Ayn. I just think that would take a lot of stalling. And I don't really want to make a team that stalls too much. Resistant Jinbei is also a pretty old legend. I don't know if he's in the metal shop right now. But a lot of people should have him. Rayleigh does need his Sailor ability that reduces his cooldown whenever another character uses their special. Because Karasu does not 
uh, reduced Rayleigh's cooldown, you'll need to use his Sailor ability. This ship is also quite important, gives a hefty HP boost, a lot of HP. As well as being a just a decent ship overall, the only thing it's lacking is an XP boost, which really isn't needed. Third team is Shanks Crew and versus Big Mom combination. Uh, quite straightforward. Again, you'll need to consume 10 recovery or tandem orbs.
Booster. Last team is a bullet and versus big mom duo. Bullet is kinda getting hard carried here. I don't use a special a single time. His captain ability nowadays honestly is not that good. He isn't a super type. Um, the only reason you'd use him nowadays would probably be for garb challenges. Because he just does a lot of damage with no specials used and gives a lot of matching orbs. Again, you will have to stall for recovery and tandem orbs. Oh. I actually failed a mission because I couldn't stall enough. Um, I thought I stalled enough, I entered stage 3 with 9 out of 10. Then Rebecca shows up and yeah, that run was a fail because Rebecca doesn't let you stall on her. So, I entered stage 4 with 9 out of 10, which means I couldn't activate the versus ability. For these teams, I tried to make, uh, well obviously a different captain for each of them, but I tried to mix up the subs a little bit. Obviously V1 Jimbei is on three of them, but there really is not any other unit that does what he does so efficiently for this content. So I apologize if you don't have V1 Jimbei, but he is just that good. 